back to Isekai Dungeons and Dragons episode six, the sixth one, and there's coincidentally not six of us. Yeah, <laughs> but I turned six. But, he, but hey. it is taking six birthday. Happy birthday, hey, Taking Good job birthday. on turning six. Yeah, I'm happy starting birthday. first grade this year. It's gonna be great. Oh, I, I'm so excited for you, Taking, um, to get an education so you can stop making videos about One Piece and get a real job. Yeah. Uh, yeah, a real job, <laughs> like like all of us have, like like, mm-hmm. like we all do. Need a real book. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We've got an author. Um. And anyway, so we're here with. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't think You're of a musician. There. You no, guys I just, are both I, musicians. <laughs> Couldn't think of real like, jobs for the, the rest of one? us. <laughs> what the fuck do with these guys? Do? <laughs> yeah. We have a Canadian. Um, <laughs> <laughs> brings his job as being a Canadian. They just give uh-huh. him money for yeah. Oh yeah, I, I, uh, I just wake up and <laughs> what was that? Dude, Those are like some crazy ad libs. <laughs> I'd love. Okay, Norman. We're, I'm here with Briggs. Norman. He's here. Hi guys. I'm here What's with up? old Tony Tekking. Having my, my coffee. How you doing? I'm here with Daniel B Green, the shark. Hello. Who is eating? And I'm also here with. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all good. I'm also here with Schwabadies Cody. Yeah, bro. What's up? Let's crush this shit. Woo! Get against the character. Let's go. Um, Sounds good. So where you guys left off was you were you were to be continued on the harsh choice of if you were gonna uh, buy uh, Ganilk's Snowball Glorks ice cream. He had his little mm-hmm. ice cream cart. He had a whole bunch of ice cream for sale. He was like, mm, would you like to buy some of my ice cream? And you guys were pondering your your conclusive thought for the last two weeks. It, yes. Importantly, so I think you need a lot to, what is the temperature outside? What is the temperature? It is... Yeah, it, is it hot? It is... It's not that hot. I'd say... Let's say it's like 70 Roll degrees. D100. D100? D100? What the fuck? It's oh, like you're thinking seven... of Fahrenheit. You're thinking of Fahrenheit. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's my... I don't know. Uh... It's like 17 degrees Tony Celsius. Tony is an American. It's okay. 17 degrees Celsius. Okay, so it's... I don't know what that is. That yes, and I was like, so we're dead. <laughs> <laughs> um... And yet, no. It's at, at 17 <laughs> degrees, I think uh, ice cream would hit the spot. <laughs> But like, it's how's he keeping it cold? I keep it cold. Oh, that's, only six, that's only sixty-two well, degrees that's Fahrenheit. That's the reason I'm, I'm like... trying to sell it to you guys is because it's gonna uh, melt before this I This is catch actually it. <laughs> relatively cool temperatures for me. I'm all right. I don't. I don't need. I'm not much of an ice cream guy. Doctor says I have to watch my sugar. So, uh... I'm desperate, guys. I need to sell this ice cream. This well, is how a much goblin, sh- right? Yeah. No, he's a he's a very small man. He's. <laughs> He's, he's like a, a gnome, but he's not quite a gnome. It's not one of the gnomes. Okay. No- he's a. There's no gnomes in this universe, but he. But you haven't thought of a good substitute. But, but he is just <laughs> essentially a gnome. All right. I, he is a human, a, but he looks okay, like a gnome. He's just a small man. He's just a small so he's gnome. He's just a man. short human. He's just okay, a short guy. There we go. Well, <laughs> how, how much sugar's in this ice cream, little fella? Sugar? Yeah. Da, 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 da. Um, <laughs> I I haven't like weighed it out. What are you talking of? Like, well, you aren't you the one that makes it? How much do you put in? Oh no, I just found this shit. <laughs> I'm just trying to sell it to anyone you... who. <laughs> well, uh, that makes me not want to have it. Yeah, like this might not be clean. I can get food. Oh no, it's definitely it. clean. Yeah, I sure cleaned it myself. Cream. How? How did you clean ice cream? How? Shrink I, <laughs> I with a cloth and um. <laughs> and water and you know how do you clean anything? I vote we kill him. <laughs> Wait, what? No, 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 no. Well, okay, no. now just because the murder is not necessary. Se- he's selling us like ice cream. We don't have to kill him for that. I need I to mean, sell this ice now. cream, or else it's gonna melt before I get to the town that I was, that I'm planning on getting to. Well, I feel for you, but you know we're on our own little quest here. We got to get to a swamp, and we got to try to find a way to get home. So. He pulls I just out. Kinda pat, I pat him on the back, and I'm like, "Good, good luck to you, little fella." Um, he pulls out an AK-47. I wasn't asking any questions. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was like, "What the? Fu- okay, what?" Um, he goes. Can you take a wicked turn. <laughs> Jesus. Um. Oh fuck. Well, I guess I'm. I guess no. I, you, are you sure? I mean, if you keep going that way, you'll hit a town. I mean, you might find someone in the town. There's a lot of people living there. How they far might away buy are we or... from the town? You've traveled for like a, a day. 
couple of day, about a day. So it's yeah, like, a yeah, day you travel a, a day that way, you'll Great. find a town. Somebody in there will probably buy your ice cream. It's gonna melt. That's the whole fucking. Pro okay, I'm just gonna find someone else. You guys didn't want any of my I, I ice feel, cream. Okay, I, I feel bad for him. I give him a silver out of pity, but I'm like, I really don't want your strange mystery food, so I just give him a silver. Well, I want to rob. Bro, him. wait, whoa. <laughs> If you're uh, if you're if you're paying, could I could I get like a scoop? <laughs> All right, fine. I'll pay for my good friend Cody over here to have a scoop of your ice cream. Oh device yeah. Thing. I, um, he he gets out one of the. It is already starting to melt. One of the uh, cones of ice yeah. cream. Um, All right. And hands so it what, over to what Cody. What flavors do you have? I don't fucking know. <laughs> what flavor does it look like? Is it just it's, white? Is it? It is just brown? like a. Well, you, you look at the ice cream, and it is sort of like a cream flavor. So you would assume vanilla, but you don't know for sure. All right, Cody, here you go. All right, yeah, All bro. right, well, thank you for the business. I'm going to start, I'm going to start, I'm going to start. Now, if you go blind, Whoa, you, please let us know. You straight away. Well, he, he starts um, He starts walking down well, the road. It's melting. I don't want to wait. Yeah, yeah, you're right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah Cody, cold man, how, how does it taste? That. Oh, can you do a constitution saving to... throw, Cody? Oh, here we Rock. go! <laughs> here we go! <laughs> Another saving throw. How's this? Oh, go? shit! How is a six? Yeah, um, how's that feeling? You feel melty. Oh. Um, you, you, you look at your arms, and they look like they're sort of like almost melty-like. And you feel like a little bit like... Oh. Can anyone else see this? this? No, no. It, as, I just feel melty. You, no you feel melty. Everyone else, you look at Norman, uh, sorry, Cody, and he, he seems relatively normal. But uh, Cody, you start looking at your arm, and it's like the skin is melting off your bone. And it well, looks like it's almost like turning into ice I, I, cream. I, I, I like turn to everyone else with like the ice cream in my hand, and I'm like, uh, uh, he's melted me. He's melted me. <laughs> are, are you all right there, Cody? Are you all right there, man? I'm melting. Mm -hmm. Huh. Okay. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean you're melting? A powerful metaphor. Shakespeare pipes up. Cody was <laughs> melted by the ice cream. What dramatic irony! <laughs> Wait a second. Are your pupils dilated? Are his pupils dilated? Um, I don't. I, I know. Uh, for everyone no. else, he just looks normal. Actually, right. in, no, in no discernible way, Cody. Well, uh, uh, your pupils are melty. <laughs> I, I, I gotta tell you, no. they're. Cody, um, you might be under the effect of some kind of acid. I've, I've done some of that back in my college days. Uh, just <laughs> calm down. If Cody's ever, if Cody's ever done drugs, being on a trip, bro. I almost feel like Cody gives the vibes of someone who's done drugs, but has actually never done but them. But hasn't, no, yeah. I don't think he has. Well, you were from uh, the 80s, if I recall. So, I mean, everybody was doing drugs back in the 80s. Not what Cody. He was too busy lifting weights. He he seems like the sort of man who's like, you know, he's getting all that action, but actually he's a virgin and all he does is lift weights. All right, Cody is not a virgin. <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah, I, I don't know where this implication coming from. Uh, no, Norman is. <laughs> That's Norman sure. is, and there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. We weren't saying there was anything wrong, wrong with that. that. I'm just saying. Cody's oh, Cody's seen his fair share of action. And um, actually, and, um, I, I go up to Cody day. though, and I say, "You should probably not eat any more of that ice cream." Though I try to take the ice cream away from him. Where is that? Does the ice cream taste good, Daniel? Oh, it tastes amazing. Okay, as as you go to take away from me, I'm like, I'm not finished with that. <laughs> um, I I don't think this is gonna be good for our mission. If you're high as balls when we're going into a swamp, I don't think that's I a good idea, idea son. I need to finish it before before I melt. <laughs> This could be the last thing I do. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try to just slap it out of his hand. What oh my I, god! What do I have to roll. What I, do I, have to I roll guess for a that? strength throw. Okay. Just fucking this is, slap this it is out for of his hand. Good son, trust me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, <critical. laughs> I mean, you you son, slap it. Listen to me. Snap out of it. I just slap it. The as ice hard cream as I can. flies out of his hand and just pelts Ganilk Snorbleglock on the back of the head as he's <laughs> as he's walking away. <laughs> And it takes oh, him. Oh, I'm sorry, there, little fella. Takes him out. It knocks him out. <laughs> takes him out until like he falls over. Oh, okay. He's on the ground. I didn't mean that, right. so, but you should probably not sell this to any more people. <laughs> I think it might be laced with something. I'm gonna run to the little goblin man. The little man, yes. Are you gonna try and rob I him? Pick up. How little is he? Um, I uh, like f four foot. Okay, I'm gonna pick him up off the ground. 
and shake them really, really hard. Oh, and just what, say, what was in the ice cream? What was in the ice cream? I don't know. I found the fucking the things. <laughs> where did you find them? Tell me where you found them. Oh. <laughs> Why are you so keen? Um, uh, I just found them on the on the on the ground. Where? Where? Where did you find them? In this cart. Where did you find the cart? Where did you find the cart? By the side of the road. Oh. It was tipped over. You're, you're, you're just walking where? down the street. Right. Wait, 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 oh, just, wait, wait. just you're, further down the path. You're you're just walking down the street. There's a cart full of ice cream, and you're like, you know what? I'm gonna. Be I'm an ice cream salesman today. Genuinely, I the grind. I genuinely picked it up like an hour before I found you guys. He's, he's very industrious, if nothing else. That's a very American attitude there, little fella. Okay. Meanwhile, Cody is just, he's melting on the floor. He's like, oh. <laughs> like to everyone else, I guess he's it just, just looks like he's slowly laying pain. down. Hey, Rustage. Cold yes. man is, is high as fuck right now because of you. What's up, what's up, Mr. Green? Is there a tree nearby? Uh, Yeah, near enough. You know, there's occasional dotting okay. of trees. A field. I'm gonna walk him over to a tree and say, I will grab you by your ankles and hit you against that tree many times unless you walk us specifically to where okay. you got this cart. Okay, I, I will do that. Don't need for threats. And I know if there's been a cart at a place for a while, there's gonna be tire marks. There's gonna be signs of wear. So if you take me to a spot where I don't see that, guess what happens to you in a tree? I, I, I don't need a, a big imagination to find out. Great. So let's I just go. didn't expect there to be lynching in this campaign. All right. oh, no, no, he didn't say anything about. Well, okay, I did not uh, say anything about no. that. That's where I thought it was going to go at first. When you said you're walking toward a tree, and I'm like, hold on a no, second. Have you guys seen Friday the Thirteenth when they take the person in the sleeping bag and just start slamming him into? Oh a tree? yeah, part seven. Oh that was God. a good one. Also, Jason X, yeah. they do that too. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I love wow. those movies. Uh, those movies are too scary for me. Uh, <laughs> Is that Ganilk or is that Rustage? <laughs> no, that's me. That's Rustage. All right. <laughs> yeah, I, I remember I saw some of those movies with my wife back in the 80s. Those, those were pretty good movies. Yeah. All right. So, okay. um, you're. you're okay. I, I wanted to think one of you guys in reality actually is a huge shark of lynching, and he goes, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, Chicago. All right. I'm from the, the ignorant deep south. I'm not about that. Okay. All right. So, you, 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 he, he leads you guys down the path. Uh, further, kind of just in the direction you're already going, um, until you eventually uh, reach a, a patch where there is just like ice cream on the ground. That the the, the ones that got like that the ones that got away the spillage <laughs> of ice cream. Um, All right, um, I'll do. Can I do like a survival whatever check to see if there's like footprints around here? Like you know, yeah, anything I'd leading say off anywhere. Your choice of tracks. survival or investigation. I'll allow I'm you better that. at survival. So go I'll ahead. Eighteen. All right, you 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 look around at this crime scene, and yeah. you do notice uh -huh. actually mixed in. It looks like strawberry ice cream at first, but there is blood mixed in uh, oh to the ice cream, and it it sort of leads away, um, and then you know the the density of the blood disperses as it gets further and further down that uh, down the track. So um, there was probably a, a fresh kill here at some point. Uh, little fella, are you sure you didn't murder someone and take his I cart? I did not murder anyone. I just well. found this cart. If you prove that you did murder them, I'll consider you useful and you can live and walk away. But if it's, you just stole some property, I don't think that's very useful. I mean, it's, useful. it's probably just the, the, the forest, the swamp. He points what's, over. What's special about the swamp? I don't know, but people always go inside and they never come out. And occasionally, yeah, we have heard that. Occasionally, yeah. things come out and grab merchants and other things and pull them in. Can I throw them into the swamp, guys? Well, the swamp is where you guys are going anyway. <laughs> I just want to put them in first. If there's something yeah. mad and nasty, I'd rather grab him because if there's something bad What's and nasty waiting Cody right status? there. Huh? Cody? Oh, oh Co did, Cody yeah. status. Um, you feel still melty, but I almost feel like you're used did to it by now. Scoop me. <laughs> like on, the, on the way, on the way past, did they, did anyone scoop me? I don't. They don't know that you're melty. I was on the floor. I'm oh, assuming that somebody... he's high. Like Tony likes to assume he's think high, just... so he'd probably help him up or something. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Guess guess Tony helped you up then. Thank you, Tony. You're all right. I um, splash some water. I have like a some water on me. I splash it on his face. When you when he, and... you <laughs> that does not help, Cody. Cody. Oh, when God. he splashes the water on you, you feel like you're disintegrating. Like no! like cotton candy. Oh, yeah. It's all right. It's all right. I thought that would help you. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Everybody, Cody is really—he's flying high right now. I don't—I don't know. Uh, 
I don't know what yeah, was in that stuff. I, uh, but... I don't know if this is the best time to go into the, the swamp with Cody like this. We want him to hang out until he uh, he crashes down, so to speak. <laughs> I'm gonna go throw the little guy in the water. Yeah. What is the? It's just like a. It's like a dense. You you can see off into the distance. There are like uh, a dense. What is it? A thicket? Picket? Thicket? Thicket. That's it. A thicket a of briar? trees. Yeah. And... Just because picket and thicket sound similar does not mean that that's an acceptable so thing to confuse. We see Those are a very white, different words. A white picket fence around <laughs> around the swamp, <laughs> and then there's okay. some guys behind it. I just forgot Neat. the word. <laughs> I like briar. Use briar, I guess. Um, but you know, the grass on the ground is obviously getting a deeper, uh, richer, darker color as as it approaches the uh, the swamp entrance, mm. um, and the ground is getting a little bit marshier and muddier. Yeah, but you, you can might just want to be like, a little, I've, chuck him into the trees if you want to. I mean, I've hunted, I've hunted before in some uh, areas like this. You, you might want to be careful where you step. Mm. What are you going to do, Daniel Green? Oh, you're, oh, he's away. Okay, no. Cody. Um, as all of your flesh melts off of your body, oh god, um, yeah. <laughs> and you, and you kind of almost feel like My a muscle. <laughs> <laughs> you feel like you're a little puddle, uh -huh. and um, and then all of a sudden, you just snap into back into your like regular shape, just fully mm -hmm. non puddly. I guess like I was like slung over old Tony's shoulder, and like as I'm like back in my regular form, I just sort of like dramatically just like dive off of his shoulder and back on my feet. Are are you all right? You're all right, Wait, son? did we just leave a cart full of poison out there for like a kid to find? Yes, that's ice cream. We did, in fact, do that. Yeah, it'll be melted by then. It's fine. <laughs> but it was. Uh, I'm like, I'm like looking at old Tony. Stop like, a kid. <laughs> when yeah. old Tony asked me if I'm fine, I'm like, I'm not sure. Armor I'm machine. a father. <laughs> I care about these things now. Uh, do kids often just eat melted ice cream off the ground? I don't think that's a thing. No, the, well, the ice cream's in the well, cart. It's in a cart. All um, right. <clears throat> All right, I never, go? I never have ice cream. I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> Norman's uh, lactose sorry, okay. intolerant. We're learning they so many well, things. We for... yeah, they make special well, we ice make... cream for you, son. You could get something. Well, we make sure that Cody is back at 100. percent Can we walk back the cart to the cart and office space the shit out of it? Office space just, it? Just, just yeah, destroy it. A... Yeah, just yeah. yeah. You just destroy it. Okay. All right. All right. Fine. All right, team. Um, what are you, um, what are you doing with Ganilk? Wait, can uh, we just like flip the card over? <laughs> you guess you A, yes, you can flip the card over. B, what are you gonna do with his head? I'm shoving it into one of the ice cream things to see what happens if someone consumes oh, a lot oh, of it. Okay. Oh, oh okay. My God. So All just right, well. okay, torture and um Look, the shark will not lynch anybody, but he'll waterboard. <laughs> he will waterboard somebody. Okay, all right. Waterboard with ice so you, cream. You walk back crazy. over to the cart. Are you just guys gonna flip it? Um, I mean, we'll flip it, but... Okay. Hey, guys, oh. I think I don't think I can do this by myself. Can you guys help me flip this card over so no one eats the ice cream? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh, sure, I'll help you with that. Now, yeah, is, sure. is that really necessary, Shark? <laughs> now we get to see what happens if Cody drank more. Uh, I'm just gonna let him walk away. I, I mean, as you as you put your good, head... But all right. As you take your hand away from Ganilk's head, he's just, like, there, not moving in the ice cream. Oh, shit. Did you <laughs> oh, shit, kill him? Did you just kill a man? No, he's oh fine. My I can God. feel a pulse. He's fine. I you can't feel his muscles twitching. You can't feel a pulse. I'm lying, Rustage. <laughs> I'm lying. I know. I'm just making it clear for you that you cannot. I'm <laughs> going you to say try that. to do CPR on this guy. <laughs> yeah, I'll do fake CPR on him. I'll be like, no, This guys, is happening look, to the it. side while me and Norman are flipping this car. I'm flip it over. Pour, we're pouring all the ice, melted ice cream onto like the yeah, field. Um, let's not let anyone else ingest this. So you guys like, as, that, as, we, as we pour it over, I turn it home and I'm like, this will feed nature. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> grass starts growing funky. Live, um, live, little fella, live. <laughs> All right. Well, he was gonna poison children if he got to town, so I think I was justified. Yeah, but murdering him is just a little bit, maybe I, too far. Just a touch. I, didn't, I did not murder him. I just did a social experiment that resulted in his death. All right. Yeah, yeah. He just made him eat the ice cream that he was gonna make other people eat. Yeah. Oh, you chuck his lifeless body to the ground. So he's dead. He's just straight up dead. Um, William Shakespeare walks over. He goes, ah, he died by the ice cream. How poetic. And he continues uh, writing. He almost like he's bio biographying the entire experience. And he's like, 
the shark. <laughs> he is not oh. a murderer, but a kind-hearted one. Uh, who, uh, who? Question mark. Question mark. I murder I, for good. <laughs> I guess we could take solace in yeah. If he would have gotten to town, he would have maybe gotten some kids high on ice cream. I suppose. Only time would have died. Yeah, they probably would have died. died. And then they would have died. I suppose. So I guess that was a good thing, but. Uh, <coughs> okay. All right. Well, All right. I'm very happy with how this went. <laughs> I can tell. To the swamp. To the swamp. I guess we're all right then. That was an interesting <laughs> side adventure. Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe one of these days we'll be able to get somewhere without murdering someone. But for now, you, as a as a group, um, leaving the the corpse of wait, sorry, Daniel. I loot his body. You loot his body. Uh, he has on him a um, he has a has a he has a key ring of keys. All right. And silver. important. Um, he, yeah, he has the, the way you silver. said keyring of keys makes it sound like a magic item. <laughs> he is the keyring of keys. Keyring of keys, you desire. They let you unlock on. a door <laughs> that has been designed to be opened with the key. Um, mm -hmm. the, he also on him has a small little picture of a small little. Uh, I mean, if you want to open up the picture, it's like nope, a folded piece of paper. Away. Okay. There you go. For, <laughs> the shark throws do I, away. Do I see him throw it away? I sh I'm sure you do. He's not very subtle about this whole I'll, looting I'll, thing. I'll pick it up and look at it. Like, you okay, open up the picture, this? and it shows Ganilk, and he's got three children. Oh, God. He's got his arms around them, um, and he's Screw smiling. Screw you, man. <laughs> yeah, kids. <laughs> um, uh, now I know who I must kill next. They oh, my God. We're <laughs> not <laughs> killing children. Um, I gotta draw the line somewhere. I'm the paladin or whatever here. And okay. and uh, it has a little thing that says, To Daddy, good luck on your adventures out there. Oh, hey, Al Capone had children. <laughs> has children. He has children. Has because he's currently alive for me. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Can we resurrect this guy? <laughs> Uh, I feel terrible. <laughs> Hold on a second, I'll try. Hey, uh, Palladium, I call him up on my phone. Hey, can we, uh, can I resurrect this guy? Yo, yo, that sucks, dude. Yeah. <laughs> that fucking sucks. I can't do shit. All right. Maybe later. Get a bit more powerful. Maybe. Maybe, in... <laughs> Maybe later. All right. Wait, no, I can yeah. resurrect the does, dead? Does cure wounds? Does cure wounds heal uh, an overdose of hallucinogens? <laughs> Oh, he's already dead. Cure wounds doesn't bring you back from the dead. <laughs> okay, I see. I see. Oh, okay. That isn't a wound. <laughs> All right, that so is not a wound. wound. <laughs> okay. So Guys, this told. is not the time to go into the swamp. I, as a parent in this world, I'm a parent, uh, feel extreme guilt over yeah. orphaning these children. So no we shit. must go find them, and I will adopt them and employ them as cheap. You don't even know where the, no. the children could oh, be. <laughs> William Shakespeare hey, actually. In the 1930s and 20s, where I'm from, child labor is very accepted, and these kids need work. So uh, I say we'll yeah. go get them. <laughs> um, well, if we ever end up running into them or figuring out where they are, well, like we could hire them I... for, the, for the business. Yeah, that's yes. the good right thing to do. My, Part of me tells me that they might actually be better off not involved with us, but I suppose. I mean, I mean, uh, hopefully they got a they got a mother. But for hey, now, to the, oh, to the God. swamp. Let's go <laughs> to, to the swamp, guys. To the swamp. Okay. Let's I go take, to the swamp. Desperate need I, of a schnick girl. I take the picture and just put it in like my wallet or something, just to have as a remembrance of this horrible thing we did. All right. When you said take a picture, I thought you meant you would take your phone out and just take a picture of like the dead <laughs> face down Ganilk in the dirt. It's like, well, no. I'm gonna show his kids later. I'm gonna. No, no, no. I was so worried. That's what you meant. This okay, fine. All we, right, we, we, well, we I was going to make move. a scrapbook for my wife. I got to <laughs> chronicle everything that it. we do. <laughs> you get yeah, home no, and I'm you're not. like, let me show you my adventures, my dear. And you flip over to the page. It just has five different so, pictures of Gnoke's yeah, dead this body. Is when, uh, this is when we met Leonardo da Vinci. This is when we opened a bar. This is when we killed a man and left his children all, you know, orphans. This is when we found this, you know. <laughs> Okay. Okay, you guys continue to the swamp. You get, oh, yeah. it's a, you know, you can see in the distance a few hours travel. Uh, William Shakespeare's like, these guys are fucked up. Um, 
<laughs> but it's great material for my for Hamlet too. Um, the rehamleting. The rehamleting. Electric <laughs> boogaloo. Oh wait, no, I'm thinking of something else. Yeah. You guys approach the entrance of the swamp. Do you mm -hmm. guys want to go in? Uh, yes. Is there like a? Can I tell if there's like a trail or if it's just like? It swamp? kind of just almost the path that you guys were following had had, had like disintegrated into just four All right. trees anyway. Uh, it's kind so. of looking kind of rough. Just watch where you stand. There could be quicksand and yes. Uh, so when dealing with a lot of wooded land, it's always easier to just start a fire and let and the woods burn go it. away. <laughs> and then you can very easily find what you need. Are you what? Are you implying we just burn down the, the whole entire swamp? swamp? Yes. I don't think it would burn that well. It's all very moist and wet. It's very moist. We moist have access water. to a lot of strong alcohol. No, and... okay, look, we're not burning we're not, the forest. We're not setting is... a forest on fire. This is um, untouched nature. I'm really I'm against touching. that. I'm, I'm, like not saying this is a, I'm not saying this is a bad idea, um, but you. it is a bad idea because we're in the middle of the forest. Well, we you would know. leave. Norman. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're not. But we I'm just not... came. I just traveled two days. I don't want to leave now. You know, we're this not is... doing anything that harms Mother Earth. What if okay. break a branch? What off if the, off says that. limits? What if the fire destroys what we're looking for in the in the swamp, William Shakespeare? Yeah, that's a logical up. conclusion as well. Yeah. Um, look, look. I, I I'm an outdoorsman. All right, you know, I, I spend weekends going out hunting, all right, and it's only okay to kill animals when it's under a strict state law and you don't go over your legal limit, obviously. That's okay. So but other like than that... Legal lo loopholes to end life. We're very similar. Yeah, yeah, but I'm not... Uh, you don't burn the whole uh, forest down. There's no sport in that, you know? Okay, I can yeah. respect that. All right. <laughs> also, uh, pe people, preferably snake girls, might be living here. Uh, Do you don't think they'd come running? You could save them. Look really good. I'm kind of down to burn down this part. <laughs> no. All right. Well, if, if, we're not burning anything down. That's good to two. Shakespeare. Old Tony. Old Tony. I'm just gonna start walking into the swamp. Okay. So the travel <laughs> yeah, order okay. is starting with Shakespeare, and then I as, assume as as we're going forward, I want to, I want to summon a bestial spirit to scout for us. Oh, yes. that's a good uh, idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use summon beast. Okay. Um, and summon a bird fair creature. Ooh, that's Again, it's like a flying bestial spirit. Um, I have it stat block. Manifest an it, it's basically it's like going around scouting. Okay, sweet. Um, uh, that's pretty. That's pretty cool. So, look what, what sort of bird is it? Well, it's it's just like a fair creature called a bestial spirit. So oh, I guess okay. it's like it looks like. I mean, you could probably make it whatever bird you want it to. Yeah. Be. I guess it'll, like, it'll look a bit like an eagle, but it's like all bluish and, and Ooh. magical. Ooh. That's cool. Uh, yeah, this like bluish magical bird comes up. It doesn't talk, does it? I, I, that's up to you. I don't think it's... it says so in this <laughs> spell. If, no, if I... it's a fae, I mean it might. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna give it a goofy voice. <laughs> so this Aww. beast <laughs> flies up. Um, oh, actually. Does it? Does it understand? Oh, sorry, you? it's not. It's not fair. It's just a beast. It's just oh, a beast, okay. like a well, spiritual then... beast. That's cool. Um. Okay, and then it is there, and it's sort of floating in front of you now, as a as a spectral a spectral beast spirit. Yeah. Okay. Tony kind of salutes it because it's an American. That's the American symbol right there. <laughs> yep. So it's, a, it's, <laughs> it's the it's, a it's the American <laughs> spectral bird. <laughs> Okay. I threw up a British salute. That's okay. <laughs> okay. What are you gonna do, Cody, with this beast? I want to any anywhere we guy wants to fly slightly further yes. ahead, like 30, 60 feet ahead or whatever, it, and and, and scout any danger. If it sees anything, fly yeah. back to us. As you guys venture deeper into the uh, into the swamp forest, as the as the light of the sun is being blocked out by the trees and the oh, moist air. Uh, prickles at your skin. Um, the <laughs> the the bird, so prickly out the here. bird does oh, return yeah. to you. Um, uh, uh -huh. and just sort of like <laughs> indicates that something in the ground uh, up ahead. Okay. Um, is it something no. as we approach uh, that we can obviously see, or is it like you can? Do you want to do a little uh, Rust, perception for me, Rustage? I want to bring some up. So I have divine sense. Yes. Um, so within sixty feet, I can tell if there's something just that has like evil energy or good energy. 
in some capacity if that's what it is <laughs> so do I, I, I think sense it's more anything. specific than that it's like specifically like an it's undead basically, it just says sense evil and good <laughs> yeah evil and good it like mechanically refers to like yeah i think certain things like yeah undead hold on. i and... have it yeah uh here it is Ooh, here it is Ooh. uh okay it's do you know the location of any celestial fiend or undead so it's one of those. Okay. okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So, um, yeah, you're not that. That is not procking at the moment. You are not. Right, you are so not, sensing not sensing any celestial fiend or mm -hmm. undead. It doesn't it's... smell any weird out here, I other mean, than it the swamp. It smells ass. damp and dank and yeah. moisty and. Do uh, I smell evil? You do not smell evil with your mafia nose. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, I'm I think asking you're saying... him. Uh, Yo, no, yeah, it, oh. it literally says it appears as a nauseous odor. So I literally smell evil. <laughs> Yeah, are you, you smell it coming yeah, from the shark. Yeah, does the shark seem because, evil to you? Uh, is he a I fiend? Mean, I don't think I he's think a I'm vampire very... or a fiend or anything, so he just probably smells like... I guess they didn't have deodorant or anything in the 1920s, so... I mean, also, we've been here strong. for weeks. Yeah, None you guys... Have <laughs> yeah, yeah, so... <laughs> you got, he's, he's milked Cody. Like, this is... He's uh, he's done things. I don't think you guys have had a shower yet. Okay. Um, oh. Who among us has the highest perception? Because I feel like we they should be... we start a whole business without showering? Yeah, fuck I'm it. I'm sure we've... Unhealthy. We've... Okay. All right. Oh, my God. Um, sorry, all I heard was Among Us. You have oh the my... high... Did I say that? <laughs> <sighs> Between well, the members means... in the group, which of us has the highest perception? Um, probably right. Cody, I'd, I'd want I them imagine. To, to, I'd rely on their eyes. Um, my perception's only three. I actually don't... Three, that's three ahead of me. Yeah, mine. I don't. I have two. Yeah, I think Cody would oh, be the highest. Oh, fair enough. I'll I'll make a perception check. Mine's three. Ten. Um, ten. You can kind of see something two. in the ground. Do you, I mean? Do you want to? Mm. Do you want to? Yeah, go ahead, Shark. Yeah. Okay, Shark. When you look after Cody, you can see what looks like maybe a person, uh, on the ground just slightly ahead of you. Oh shit! Hey, someone murdered before I could murder. There's a person. <laughs> are Are you sure he's dead? Um, Not moving, he's on the ground. But all the day, he's either that or hung over. <laughs> uh, I'll go up to him and check to see if he's alive. You you walk up to him and you see. Can can we like check the area as we approach to make sure it's not like mm -hmm. a trap? Oh, like uh, investigation uh, or survival or I, something. I like can that? roll if I go first. I can roll investigation. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fuck it. Investigation or survival. But I feel like me me and old Tony, uh, Cody and old like... Tony, are both like. They're like, you know, they've been out in the Great Wild. Yeah, they have we've been hunting, like they've outdoorsmen, they yeah, yeah, that kind of, of stuff. Course, of course, of course, of course. Just investigation or is like nature? Because I have better nature. No, 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 no. It wouldn't be nature. It would either be investigation or survival. Um, I'll, I'll just, let you I'll do, I'll do survival. survival. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's good. Oh, so, he did it. It's fine. Yeah, looking at like the, 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 the area around you, um, it looks like uh, there's a trail of blood leading deeper into the forest from the body as you approach the body you do notice he is dead it's a mm. dead fella mm. he's wearing oh, like shit. kind of like scout clothing um killed uh, a boy scout he, a boy <laughs> Those bastards. Like, like medieval scout clothing he seems to be young maybe like 17 or 18 um, oh he killed an eagle scout shit that's just <laughs> damn it um but it doesn't look like there isn't any disturbance in the woods around this area it seems mm. like he's died from his wounds that he has mm. gotten previously um, so he's he's sort of like crawled this way. Yeah, he's he's, he's tried to get out. He's crawled this far. So it's either something from outside the swamp killed the guy by the cart and then went in here, or killed this guy. Well, it's 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 not. Yeah, this is not coming from where you guys came from. It's coming from deeper in the swamp. Okay. So he's been he's been attacked somewhere deep in the swamp and mm. escaped, but only to die from his wounds. Yeah. But you, you well, notice there's no like traps or anything set up in this area. Like this, this area that you're currently in is completely fine. He's just. I mean, how mangled? It's kind of a messed up thing to ask, but how mangled is he? Well, is looking he like... at his body, he's just kind of got claw marks. Oh in him. shit! Um, mm. Might have been a bear. Look, if it's a creature, if it's like a beast, a bear, something like that, I think I can talk to it. I think, I think we're good. Maybe it was one of those. Lungs is uh... not like a monster. Maybe it was one of those owl bear things we fought before. Maybe it was one of those. Those things are pretty big. I don't know. I mean, maybe it was the gnome scenario, guy. I, th I think we could handle an animal. <laughs> maybe it was the gnome guy. Yeah. William Shakespeare's <laughs> like, I don't think Whatever it's the gnome guy. Killer. He's whatever you need to tell yourself, buddy. Yeah, don't try to justify your murder. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a serial thou killer art slayer. A, thou art, thou art an evil man, but thou must be honest in his evil ways. 
I'm an so angel. I <laughs> vote that we follow the blood. I mean, that's... I mean, we've got to keep going into the swamp, mm -hmm. so yeah. I mean, that sounds like a terrible idea, but sure, let's do it. Okay. All right. You're just going to follow the blood. blood trail. All right. Okay. As you guys follow this blood tra trail, you start to hear the faint sound of music. Like, joyful, Ooh. like... It's very, oh. very faint, but as you keep following the blood trail, it gets louder and louder, and then you start hearing laughing and, and joyous, oh like, chattering. And Is stuff. it feminine? It's not, it's not, you gotta get that microphone away from your mouth, mister. <laughs> <laughs> it is, oh, it man. is, it is, you know, a, just a general cacophony of, like, laughter and cheerfulness, and the music is Wait, getting louder and minute. louder. Maybe this Come guy on. died of a good time. <laughs> <laughs> as you guys are following the trail of blood, um, you, you actually start seeing light in the distance through the trees. Like mm. almost Co like lamp Cody, light. could you could you send your uh, your cool epic bald eagle companion to go and see what's going on? Oh yeah, dude. I mean the <laughs> the, <laughs> the the um the bird flies out, goes through the, <clears throat> the through the light, and then it returns, mm -hmm. and just like lands on your on your arm, and like kind of how does a bird shrug? Sort of like shrugs. It just flaps its wings. Like I don't know. Yeah. It's indicating I, that it doesn't seem like doesn't actually, seem dangerous. I could actually burn another spell and use beast bond on this beast so that I can like telepathically link with it and stuff, but that seems excessive. Uh, yeah. Hmm. I'll not do that. Okay. Well, that was not what I was expecting to find at the end of a blood trail, to be honest with you. No. Right, I don't have fair. a good feeling about this. Well, what are you guys gonna do, team? I mean, is it feminine? Okay. It's not feminine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's just a cacophony of this. I mean, you can hear the music. It's like, and there's laughter, and there's um, it just almost sounds like a party. Why don't we uh, check out this party? I guess. <laughs> Bro, yeah, I'm always down for a party. party. <laughs> Parties, or you know, ra big rager in the middle of a swamp. That's all right, yeah. I guess. Okay. You know, um, during Prohibition, uh, we have often taken to celebrating at the parts of the forest to keep well, yeah. the little piggies from finding us. Yeah, bro, so. it's like Woodstock. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I okay. mean, I, so back in high school, I snuck out a few times with my friends out in the woods. We got pretty shit-faced drunk, so yeah, I guess that's not as weird as I thought it was. All right, let's go. As you guys make, through, make your way through the forest into the clearing... Um, what greets you is there's tables and chairs and lamps and kegs of beer being served and poured. There's a band playing music. But all of the people that are celebrating and talking and dancing, they're all like all made of bits and bobs. Some of them are like made out of straw. They look a li little bit like scarecrows. And they all, oh, damn it. they all have pumpkin heads. And they're all just laughing and enjoying and dancing around and... Um, some of them are, are like, almost like they're wooden, and they, um, like made of are wooden like bits. Are they like mugs of like? Yeah, there's mugs of alcohol, and they're mm. drinking it. I think what what Cody's gonna do? He's just gonna like scoop up like a loose, like mug, and try and like mingle, just instantly like, try like to blend in. Just be like, whoa, yeah, party, whoa! Does he get eaten by <laughs> the pumpkin? <people>? One, <laughs> one of the things you do notice is amongst the group there is a, a human there sitting at the table with a alcohol in hand, yeah. just sort of looking around nervously. He's got kind of cream hair, blue eyes, and uh, he's wearing scout uniform. Someone as well. creamed his hair? No, his hair is cream coloured. Um, as Cody, as you come in, like, woo! The the other ones are like a, a bunch of these pumpkin people, like, put their hands up and they go, hey, come on, yeah, come on! I like, I like turn a signal apart and like. <laughs> All right. Um, I, uh, hey, what's up, guys? One of one of them gives they you. They may not be feminine. One but that's a lot of moist holes with those pumpkin heads. I'm actually gonna strangle you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one of them gives Cody just some 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 ale and is, is starting to dance. Not all of them have pumpkin heads, by the way. A lot of them do because you notice in the area that you're in, it it almost looks like um like the remains of a like a pumpkin patch. Uh, but mm. some of them actually just have um uh mm. straw bodies uh with like. Scarecrow faces. Some of them have uh, entirely made out of like tree root, root and they're like wooden. Can, um, can I walk over to the human and be like, "So, uh, 
Halloween around these parts, or uh, what, what's yeah, going we'll, on we'll, here? We'll like we'll all slowly make our way like to the human. I mean, as you guys enter, people are like cheering as you guys enter. They give you uh, alcoholic beer. There's one. There's one fella who actually his head is a beer keg. And he's coming around and he's filling up beer glasses and he's like <laughs> handing it to people. Uh, he's like, yeah, bro, refill. Woo. He's like, hey, I'll, welcome. I'll take, a mug. I'll, I'll take a mug, but I'm not going to drink any yet. Um, oh, yeah. Cody is not drinking drink, any of this. Yeah. After the ice cream incident, <laughs> he is very wary to take anything that someone has just given him. Uh, the, the man looks over um, at you guys and he like grabs Tony and brings him close. He's like, you've got to help me, man. you got to help me. I, I, all right. All right. Just calm down, son. Calm down. What, what's with all the pumpkin people? They, they won't let me leave. Well, Who creamed like, your like, hair? My hair was just cream colored, you cunt. <laughs> 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 Shark, please, this man is in clearly distress. <laughs> they, won't, Don't, are, <laughs> they won't let me are, are, leave. are they keeping you here by, like, violence? No. I mean, it doesn't seem that way, but my my, my friend, he tr the, the other scout, he, he tried to leave and they wouldn't let him. Oh, the other eagle scout? He's dead. He's Sorry dead? Yeah, oh. uh, uh, my condolences. No, he was my best friend. Well... Oh, I'm sorry about that, man. Oh, well, uh, you fought like a bitch. <laughs> Who are you? Why are you being so mean to me? <laughs> Just ignore him. He's... He, he, it's what he does. Um, but if you need to get out of here, I mean, we can we can help you get out of here. Can, can you really? I mean... Uh, yeah. Uh, there's like a straw hand that goes on Tony's shoulder and goes... Uh, you see like this pumpkin face look down at you and goes, Hey, buddy. Did I overhear something about getting out of here? Don't you yeah. want to join in and stay and have fun at the party? I I think I'll Tony would just let be me, very let me honest here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, you say that? Okay. My fort. It's my fort. It's my forte. Hello, pumpkin man. We want to stay and have a good time. But of we also course want to you be do. able to leave. Whenever we want. Well, when nobody try to can. Stop us. Nobody can leave. I mean, when you say leave, the music stops, and all everyone just looks at you, and they go, "Nobody can leave." We we you said might, leave. We said you... leave, like as in leaves. We didn't actually say leave. Nobody must find out that we're here. No, of course might not. Tell somebody that we're here. We so you're gonna party until everyone here's dead? Oh no, we never die. Guys, this is some poltergeist shit. We just got into some poltergeist shit. Why are you here, traveler? Is it not to have a good time? Or is it here to hurt us? I personally like have anxiety. And unless I'm allowed to leave, I cannot have a good time. We're, uh, we're looking for they something start to in like, the swamp. They yeah. start to, like, enclose around you and go, you can't leave. All no, right, I think this is going leave. south. I grab, I grab the Eagle Scout kid, and I just try to throw him out of the area. I mean, you don't. Is getting... <laughs> you can't throw him very far. <laughs> you're like, you're, you're like well into. It's a decently clearing, and you guys are like in the center of the clearing. Uh, so if you if you throw him, it's just gonna throw him on the ground, still in the clearing. Before can I get him at fight, least? Well, I... if they're if they're all like closing in on us, can I at least get him out of the circle where they're <laughs> closing on us? Uh, yeah, sure. I mean, okay. he, you, you, you fling him and he just lands. I just feel like, here, well, okay, start running, kid. No. Before we fight, I'm going to try and stop the circle. I, I, I acknowledge we're all going to fight. I just need to ask one question before this begins. Can I do that? Go, I mean, yeah. we don't need to fight if you just stay here. I just want to run and run a thing by y'all. Would a giant forest fire have, would have happened to take care of this like whole party situation before we got here? If like, let's just say one happened to break out. Are you asking I'm just gonna me look at everyone in the party. <laughs> the pumpkin people. I'm like, are you guys by chance weak to fire? Would this would that have solved the problem? Was never an option. <laughs> I, not harming the forest. <laughs> Cody, I'm half convinced you were gonna join the pumpkin people because they're pumpkin-y. Um, I'm tempted. If you guys attack us right now, I will burn down this forest. The keg guy looks down and goes, "That sounds like a threat to me." I knew it. Wait, are there like the arms and legs straw? Yeah, a lot of them are, yeah. All Guys, right. I can't fight them. I can't break any knees. They're fucking <laughs> strong. They have it's all right. stick legs. Tony, Tony, ask them about the reason why we're here. We'll see. Right. Tell, them, uh, tell them we're not going to Look, leave. look, we're just, we're looking for uh, some kind of tower. Have, and maybe you could help us out. Have oh, you seen, like, a tower around here? Like a... 
Were they like more like holy sites you're, gonna, you're trying to find? Just some of them are in All right, town, some, yeah. some kind of holy site, like a church, uh, yeah. some kind of place, a fancy window or whatever. Know, do we know what yeah. god it was that this area is for? You didn't actually no. know. You didn't even know if there was one in here. You just knew that the scouts oh. in here wouldn't be able to get out. Yeah. Um, uh, the, 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 the creatures don't respond to you, but the uh, scouts on the ground turns around and goes, Did Da Vinci send you? Uh, yeah. I found it. I found it. I found it, oh, but they good. wouldn't let All me right. leave and go back to tell Da Vinci. We. D D oh wait, I get it. These pumpkin people are the ones that are keeping them from leaving and going to find Da Vinci. I get it. All right. The um. Is that okay. <laughs> <laughs> it took an extra second for Tony to get. I thought it. you would have got that when I told you they wouldn't let me leave. But yeah, I know. It's it's whatever. I got it. I'm on the same page now. <laughs> there's a d deeper into the swamp. It's there's a they, there's a huge tree and. Inside of the tree, I saw it. I saw it like a glowing, like stone. I'm, I swear to God, it had one of those symbols on it. All right. But well, that's but when at. I went to go uh, report whoa, whoa, it, whoa, 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 what god? I don't know. I don't know anything about these symbols what and stuff. What, what did the symbol god? look god like? Is it, it looked like a leaf. I, I'm not gonna believe you unless you tell me what deity you're swearing. Doesn't one of us have a leaf? Yeah, I mean, yeah, Cody has a leaf on his on his yeah. pendant. Yeah. It seems like uh, this is gonna be code. Oh, cool, Cody! You're gonna get a god that lives in your phone too. Oh wait, you don't have a phone. Uh, you, maybe in your barbell or something. Maybe just in your head. <laughs> uh, well, um, all right. We know where we're going. So, uh, if you don't mind, straw pumpkin fellas, we're just leave. gonna. All we're right, gonna I leave. We're just gonna go. To, we're just gonna go to the tree. We're gonna go to the yeah, tree. We'll and be, come back. We'll be back. No, yeah, like, we're we'll technically be back not in like five leaving. Minutes. We're not leaving the swamp. We're just gonna walk over to a different. No, part you can't of the leave swamp. the party. We don't know. We can't. We don't know where you're going All right, to go. Well, fuck you guys. Well, <laughs> All right, just first. fuck you guys. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I turn to the party. Norman's like, in a very cranky mood right now because not a right. single one of these people not, are snakes, and we're not in a, a swamp. single snake lady. <laughs> I just before I feel like the tension is rising. I turn to the party before anything happens. I just say, "Look, ground rules. These guys obviously enchanted, evil, mystic creatures. Fair play. The forest." Norman, I know you like your little fire spells, okay? Just leave the forest out of this. Okay. I think I could light something on fire too, but I probably so, should avoid that. I should avoid While that. Norman's in a cranky mood, he walks away from our current party into like, a, like kind of like into like in deeper into like the actual like party that's going on into the pumpkin people. As they're closing and in around you. As they're closing uh, it around me, and I can I use Earth Tremor? Norf, wait, Norman, what are you doing? Wait, no, wait, I can stop this. Wait, I think I he has a plan. Wait, there's, there's, I didn't ask for permission. I just started walking. Yeah, he's doing it. <laughs> he's doing he's it. Doing it. I can end this fight. Guys, what if I said I can provide free booze forever for your party so it can keep going indefinitely? <laughs> if we, you just let us go, I'll be back with free booze. Infinite amount. <laughs> we already have as much booze as we want. As he pours out the liquid, you notice it isn't actually booze. It's just swamp water. Uh, <laughs> oh wait! I just like, throw my, my look mug, mug on the ground. Ale, is yeah, it just, is it, it is just, just swamp. Water. It's like frothy oh, swamp just, water. Oh, that's Gross. disgusting. Throw that on the ground. All right, you are right. Norman? Norman. Yeah, Nor like I, I heard the shark try to talk to me, but depressed Norman like head down just walks away, and this fucking like earth tremor. All, All right, go for it. Go ahead. All right. Which causes branches. Oh, uh, you didn't put in any of the extra little fellas. Okay, cause a tremor within a ten foot radius. So you you are within. I'm gonna say actually you're within ten feet of almost all of them because they've closed in around you. So it will hit all of the uh, the pumpkin ones that look aggro. Um, I make sure to try to get ten feet away from like my teammates. <laughs> so I probably couldn't get everyone. Um. All right. The situation is. You were all there, kind of in the center where the where the table is, with um, talking to the scout. So they were closing in on around you. So there'd be no way that you would be able to get within ten feet range of the pumpkin people without still being within ten feet range of the right, party. I still use it. Anyway. You still use it. Fuck it. That means everyone's got to do dexterity saving throw, including oh all gosh. the pumpkin people and you three. All right. Uh, <laughs> That's how uh, it goes. Great. Uh, That's and the way the news goes. All right. And then we'll bring you. We'll bring you oh, over. Oh shit! Oh my god! Critical oh, failure. What if just Norman, like Norman? Why? <laughs> wait, old Tony has old knees. Norman, it just, no. it just kill him. My ankles acting up. Oh, this isn't good. Uh, <laughs> this isn't gonna be good for old Tony. Let me tell you. 
<laughs> okay. All right. All no right. No one just drops us all. <laughs> all right. Let me do a dick save for all of the all the, all the pumpkin fellas. Um. I'm okay. I knew that was gonna be a crit fail before I even rolled it. Oh, one of them critically 12, succeeded. Yeah, one of them critically succeeded in 12, 12, 18, 9. So I, s I assume three of them failed, two what of them is, succeeded. Yeah, what is the spell save DC phenomenon? It's a 14, right, Norman? 14, yeah. yeah. 14, okay. Um, so you walk into the center of everyone and just make the earth tremor below you. Um, that means I need you to do that D6 damage. So, okay, so <laughs> you rolled a one. <laughs> so everyone takes one damage, except for like two of the pumpkins, uh -huh. and then everyone falls over. The, the earth tremors below Norman. All of the, all of, pretty much all of the pumpkin people of the party fall over. And quite a lot of them, actually. So all of these ones that did a deck save um, are the ones that are like more robust. But quite a lot of the pumpkin people, the moment that the tremor hits them, they, they just like, uh, Collapse into lots of different pieces and parts. Um, <laughs> okay. But the the five remaining pumpkin people that are still up and look quite robust. You know, they, they got wooden bits attached to them. They are uh, their little straw hands have turned into these sharp claws, and their eyes are glowing um, yellow. Um, three of them are on the ground. Um, I'm gonna say the ones that were nearest to Cody, Shark, and Altonia will be on the ground. And then two say, that are that, furthest that away. That has to knock me on my ass, like. Yeah, and everyone else yeah. is on the ground. And then, I guess I need everyone to roll initiative, fellas. Well, William Shakespeare and the Scout are like they they. Scout is obviously far away because Tony threw him, and then William Shakespeare was just, he didn't actually go in. He was just kind of staying back. So that is the the order, and I actually think everyone gets to go before the pumpkins go. So Norman, you've earth tremored, and now it is your action. Uh, I again, I just earth tremored. Everyone fell down. I'm like, today's not a good day. And I look, I look down at one of the pumpkins below me, and I put my staff to his face and firebolt. <laughs> we said no fire! <laughs> All right, who are you firebolting? Right, it's point blank, it's fine. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. One of, ooh. Ooh. ooh, you hit. And which one are you firebolting? Uh, the one to my right. All right, yeah, it does double damage as you just immolate this, this uh, creature you set his body aflame. He goes, oh! As he roars out in pain. Um, Get off me. All right. Sorry, that was too deep of a voice for Norman. <laughs> Get off me. <laughs> that's, that's how Norman thought he said yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. that's Norman's inside voice. Okay, oh, Tony, you're up. All right, um, I'm just gonna get up, I guess, and then just swing my mop sword at the pumpkin right next to me. We'll, we'll just start with that. All right, so you aching old knees, you get off oh. on the ground. Oh, I'm getting too old for this. I'm gonna do uh, two-handed with this one with my mop sword. Sweet. 16. Uh, you hit him? Yeah. Yeah, dealing 10 damage as you ten smack Ooh. into him. This one's actually on the ground, so you do get advantage. If you want to roll again, just in case you might have got a crit. Um, oh, sure. Oh, you didn't. Anyway, uh, no, yeah, did you, just, you just smack him on the ground uh, with your mop um, weapon. Yep. As a bonus action to that, because a lot of paladin spells are bonus actions, from what I've discovered, I'm going to cast uh, Thunderous Smite. you got to do and that so, before the attack. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm setting it up for my next. My oh, next okay. Turn. Sweet. Because it's like the next time I hit after this, yeah, I activate yeah. it. I can, you, you can know, use okay, bonus so actions be... before actions, though, if you ever want to. All right, I just wanted to hit it. So like, okay, okay, we'll do sweet. it next time. Sweet, sweet. Okay, so you've got Thunderous Smite on your weapon uh, for your next attack. Um, Mr. Deshark, you're up. So, how many of these people actually have weapons of some sort? Uh, they all are just, they all have just claws. Ah, so disarm's not gonna, unless you can't. Can I rip off their hands? <laughs> disarming the, disarming their claws? I don't think so. Disarm. But they're strong disarm. They're very, very weak to pull apart. <laughs> That's what you think. Okay. Mm. <laughs> you don't know that. You just know that from straw. Okay, then I'm gonna do a uh, trip attack. Perfect. I'm going to. Hmm? Perfect. Okay. Uh, when you hit a creature with a weapon attack, you can spend one superiority die to attempt to frighten the target. You what? add the superiority die to its attack damage roll, and the target must take a wisdom saving throw. That sounds more like a menacing save. attack. Oh, well, that's what you put in for oh, the death. I might have. I might. It was because you had menacing attack, and then we replaced it with trip attack. 
Uh, whoopsie, whoopsie. Yeah, trip attack sounds like it makes them prone. Prone, yes. But everyone, like the three people closest to us, Shark, are already prone. Yeah. Oh, okay. Everyone's well, already been knocked the over. Like this is a weird definition. <laughs> yeah. Where's the trip? The trip attack. That was <laughs> like okay. Yeah. Well. Guys, guys, they're down. They're down. Two, two of them okay. are still up, but they're. Okay, then I'm just gonna try and hit him with my baseball bat really Sweet. fucking hard. You have advantage on the attack because he's uh he is already down. Okay, um, so I select advantage, and do I roll? Just hit my die. Yeah, you just you. What I hit again? You just click on your baseball bat attack. Gotcha. Uh, do I want to do the uh, two-headed? Yeah. Go ahead. You critically hit. Ooh. Ah, yeah, nice. Um, right. Do the damage and tell me how are you critically hitting this pumpkin person? Who's, no, you have to, to do the damage. You click on the word in the chat. Yeah. Sorry. There you go. Uh, how are you critically so hitting the pumpkin boy? So I'm going to uh, just lightly lay baseball bat on their, like, like they're getting up, and I imagine they're just like, uh, and I'm just going to put my bat in the mouth and just knee their jaw. Oh, my oh. God. You put it in his pumpkin mouth. Um, it's a big mouth. It's a, yeah, it's a huge, mouth, it's easy to hit. It's a big target. Ramming the baseball Wait, bat like through it. Um, and you haven't killed it yet, but, like, scattered bits of pumpkin fly off across the uh, ground like it's blood. Um, <gasps> Yeah, all right. Well, there you go. That one is pretty much oh, This is, this is like... Round. That's hilarious because this is the pumpkin person that's like laid next to me that we're both prone and I just see his shark come across <laughs> and just blow his jaw out. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you. Um, um, you have pumpkin pie tonight. Speaking of which, Cody, you just see the shark okay. just impale this fella. Before I even get it, get up, I'm going to call down my bird. So my, my, my bird takes its turn at the same time as me. Yes. Um, so I just call down my bird to attack the the, the pumpkin guy that All the right. shark was attacking. So it gets advantage, right? Because the guy's prone. Yep. Yeah, you hit him. Connected both damage. times. Okay. Um. All right. The damage is actually pretty cool. It's one d eight plus four plus two. Sweet. So yeah, bird descends and does eight damage on the creature. So the nice. yeah, it's like. Ah! All right, you're gonna you're gonna kill this pumpkin. Oh, it shit. tears the pumpkin's head like off its. Yes. It like your talons dig and it just <laughs> just decapitates it with its claws, rips yeah. it off, and and then as as you rip the pumpkin head off this body, um, it all of its body pieces kind of just lose life and collapse to the ground, and you mm. see this like weird uh, ethereal like white spark kind of float off into the sky. Ooh. And that one's dead. You still, do you still have an attack, right, Cody? Yeah, yeah, I still have my turn. That was that yeah. was the bird. That was the bird. Uh, the bird, the bird also will just like fly back up into the air after it does that. God I, bless I, I'm gonna get myself the up off the ground. <laughs> <laughs> can I can I move after standing from being prone? Yeah, yeah, of course. You can, but you can okay. move. You move half your speed. I tell you what I'm gonna do actually is I'm going to stand between Norman and the two pumpkin people who aren't prone. Yes. Get in front of Norman and his two adversaries. Yeah, just getting ready. I'm going to turn into a lion. Oh. There you go. It's Lion Cody. <laughs> you turn into a huge, ferocious lion in front of Norman. I mean, Norman, you see Cody just like run up in front of you, turn into a lion, almost like your little Pokemon. <laughs> are, when you turn into Holy these shit, animals. That was cool. When you turn yeah. into these animals, are you still wearing like the pink no. like tank top and the, <laughs> I mean, and the headband? I, oh, okay. Technically, according to the D&D rules, no, but I really like the idea of this lion <laughs> being in a spandex bodysuit. Yeah, suit. fuck it. The, yeah, the lion yeah, is in a spandex yeah. bodysuit. So. That, that is great. That is, <laughs> that is fantastic. So I'm going to run up yeah. and um, I'm going to attack the 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 one that just pumpkin head guy that he's already yeah the one that just got the one that's still like on fire yeah i have pack tactics because norman's within five feet of me so i have advantage on it even though he's not sweet go drawn. ahead uh, and i'm going to attack with my teeth you're gonna ah. bite this pumpkin yeah. you hit the pumpkin 16 yep four damage you just I mean, it, it tastes very good because he is being cooked. Mm. Uh, it's like a nice roasted pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> and you take a nice bite out of him. This, this pumpkin yeah. is still alive, but um, is very much wounded and is burning. Okay, that's my turn. All right. The uh, scout at the back uh, pulls out his bow and arrow, and he's just going to fire at the pumpkin person that's on the ground next to old Tony. 
Um, and that's just what All he's right. going to do. He gets advantage on that as well, right? So... 12 he misses. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> the arrow flies me. through the air and just like hits the ground next to the pumpkin. He goes, sorry! <laughs> um, Norman. Wait, didn't we skip the pumpkin's turn? Oh yeah, the pumpkin. Uh, oh shit, turn. the pumpkin lost their turn. Uh, oh, I think that you did the same thing I did that one time where I deleted one of the deleted tokens. The and they got, they, deleted the yeah. pumpkin token. It is they now the pumpkins. To, <laughs> I to be yeah. fair, yeah. it was all of us then the pumpkins anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. initiative, I guess? Is it? Okay. Yeah, yeah, and actually, William Shakespeare had a twenty initiative that I forgot to put in, but you know he's scared of the pumpkins. You know he's writing his ah! he's writing his pumpkin poetry. Well, uh, that's you know that's poetry. that's historically factual. All right. William Shakespeare had a phobia of pumpkins. So uh -huh. I'm gonna say that this pumpkin uh, is going to attack okay. Cody. So there's four right. pumpkins now. There, two are up. Okay. Two are next to Lion Cody, and both of the two that are next to Lion Cody are gonna turn around to Lion Cody, and they're gonna get out their claws, and they're gonna slash, 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 slash. There's four claws coming at you, Cody. Um, oh my gosh. Uh, 2012, okay. okay. 22. Stop for a moment. <clears throat> I'm using this. You're using... Uh, Rebuke the violent. Uh, ooh, is that within 30 feet of you? It sure is. I think so it is. After an attacker within 30 feet of you deals damage with an attack against a creature other than you, you can use your reaction to force the attack to make a whiz save. On a failed save, the attacker takes radiant damage. So we're going to say that first attack that definitely hit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, which would have been All six. of those, yeah. All of those hit besides the crit the, fail. Uh, the first attack, uh, he's got to do a wisdom save. Which he gets a 15. Does that succeed? Uh, let me check, actually. Oh, that might do it. Oh, you yeah, rebuke the violent. I have, a, I, have, I have a 12. All right, yeah. Cody, you take six. Damn. You take seven. You take seven. So 14 plus six, you take 20. I tried, Cody. Next time. <laughs> <laughs> Are you still lying? Uh, I am a, I am a lion. Can you give me a lion token so I can use its health? Oh, I was just going to put it as your temporary hit points. Uh, oh, yeah, how much health does a lion have? 26. Alright, so you're on 6. I'll just put well, 6. 20 now. Uh, well, no. 6 now. You took 20. I took tw Oh, God. Yes, you took 20. I was just looking, I was looking at <laughs> you the You took 20! So the, the claws of these yeah. creatures rip into you. Uh, but, uh. The, but one of the ones critically failed, and as he tries to claw into you, his straw arm becomes detached and falls onto the ground. He looks down, he goes, Oh, I hate it when that happens. Um, so he <laughs> <laughs> kind of halves his attacks. Uh... The one of the other pumpkin people is going to get off up the ground, and he's going to approach Norman. Norman, you're about to get pumpkined. Oh shit! Oh, Norman, yeah. both of those are hit, I assume, and you take ten yeah. damage as the the oh, claws of this I... pumpkin like rips. Can you can't? This would be broken as shit, but I'm not allowed to keep using that, can I? Well, it uses no, your you reaction. Get one right? reaction per. I was going to say yeah. one reaction per round. I can't. Uh, just it's actually a channel divinity, okay. which you only get once a day, I think. Oh uh, yeah, it is. That is. So true, he. Yeah. Just rips into Norman. Um, but I can't use arcane deflection on that, can I? You sh well, you could, but it would be useless. Oh shit! How, Rustage how, on yes. a successful save, it actually takes half as much damage. Oh, so uh, Cody. So it still takes three. You take yeah. three, so you're on. You took seventeen, so you're on nine. No, 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 no. Me, the 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 guy who hit me still takes three. Oh, he damage. oh, yeah, he takes. He's the three. one that takes. He takes oh. half of the damage. He oh, dealt. okay, yeah, yeah. okay. My bad. My bad. Rebuke the violence. Tony, Tony Chopper's here. Okay, so, uh, rebuke the violence as that guy claws into the to the lion. This like radiant claw comes out of Tony's voice and and strikes back at the pumpkin person at half the amount of damage. Um, Norman, you're being ripped into. Um, and Cody, this Ouch. one in front of you, not Cody, Tony, fucking hell, yep. similar names. This guy in front of you gets up and starts clawing into you multiple times. Uh, Bring only, it. Only hitting one, I assume? 17? Uh, my armor class is like, yeah, 18. So. Okay, so neither of them hit. You reflect both of them <laughs> over your dust pink <laughs> shield. Um, and now it is Norman. Oh, that's the first time I felt pain in this world. Oh, it is. <laughs> that's how you're taking a hit. Well, William, William Shakespeare goes yeah. over. How does it feel, Norman? I want to account. I want to get the real story, the real feelings. Terrible. They ruined my no hit run. No. <laughs> what is a no hit run? But I will write it down I'll regardless. I'll explain that another time. 
We but all gotta now, get I've hit sometime, something, Norman. I've had something that I've wanted to try. I stick my staff into the ground. Yes. And I scream, chromatic orb. Ooh. Oh, this is fun. This is a fun one. I love mm. this. And I, mm. and I shoot it at the pumpkin right next to me on my left. All right, the one that's with 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 fire. I was yes. gonna say, what damage are you doing? <laughs> the one that that just got up and attacked old Tony. You hit oh, him. Oh shit! Yeah. Um, do that damage. You hit him. You just okay. immolate him completely. Oh. I mean, how do you want to kill him? It just could destroy him. I, I just he just like bursts into flames and disintegrates, and I'm just like, get fucked. <laughs> no, get, get fucked. Why is he talking like Ragnar? <laughs> Norma, it's, it's your inner somebody. voice. Your inner voice is like, get fucked. But your real voice is like, hey, get fucked. Um, get fucked. And that's the one that's next to Tony, right? That you're immolating. Yes. Uh, so he just go, Tony, in front of you, this, this pumpkin man just goes up in a burst of flames. And oh. then in a flash, in an instant, it is just ash on the ground as its little soul uh, flies up into the sky. <laughs> um, All right, then. Yeah. Or well, now, is that your turn, Norman? I assume that is my turn. Yeah, I All don't right. think I can do anything else. Right. I just want to clarify. Yes. Um, between turns, I, I was I was reading Wild Shift this entire time. When I transform, I can choose whether my equipment falls on the floor, is completely merged into my new ship, or if whatever I transform into wears that equipment. All right. So Perfect. yes. So, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. He's actually wearing spandex. Spandex hey. bear. Lion. I, don't have, like, I, I can't like bonus action like touch Cody and give him mage armor, right? No, that's a spell. It takes an that's action. a full action. Yeah. Oh, okay. True. Yeah. Um, there are certain spells that you can cast as bonus actions, but that I, is not. I don't know why, but I'm picturing you as Alex the Lion from Madagascar right now, Mark. <laughs> I don't know why. This like that very expressive kind of like yeah. Yeah, you're not, yeah. You are just an Roar! anthropomorphic lion. Uh, uh -huh. Willie and Shakespeare goes to Norman and goes, Norman, keep it up, my good man. Norman, you are the best, the greatest there ever was. Put your skills to the test. He's giving you bardic inspiration. Um, oh, sweet. And, and what does that do? You can add a d6 to your next attack roll. Ooh, hell yeah. Um, or your next saving throw roll. Um, I'm going to burn these guys to ashes. Oh, Tony, you're up. All right. Um, I just saw Norman completely incinerate the one in front of me, so I'm like, all right, I got to can't be shown up by these uh, young kids. So I'm just going to walk up to the next pumpkin there, yes. raise up my mop sword, and with the thunderous smite that's added to it, I, I imagine it's like a quake bubble, like Whitebeard from One Piece, just appears on the mop as I bring it down and try to destroy this thing Sweet. with uh, thunderous smite. Yeah, roll to hit. All right, let's do it. You 15. hit him? Yeah, you hit okay. him. Okay, so let's do the melee damage first. Yeah, that's 12. 12 slashing. And the then... Thunderous smite is a... Uh... Do you have it on a card? Of course, I have cards for everyone. Um, <laughs> you don't I, need that. We have the internet. They look so cool, though. <laughs> but uh, it's, it's on your sheet, on your character sheet. No, I 100% yeah. support this. I absolutely. <laughs> I know. I, this I, is I more want, fun. I want this is more fun. Card. It's way more fun. <laughs> yeah. yeah, all right. Uh, so first of all, the thunder is audible within 300 feet of you. So I just bring it down and just boom. And it does 2d6 thunder damage to the target. Yep, yeah, roll 2d6. So, well, that's there's more to it than that, but hold on. So 2d6. Yep. So two. <laughs> oh, it's a terrible. Right, hold on, there's Brad one. Yay. Additionally, if the target is a creature, it must succeed on a strength save or be pushed 10 feet away and knocked prawn. Prawn? Prawn, yes. Is that um, how you say it? I. It's a joke, but oh, okay, I always okay, say okay, prawn, okay, yeah. okay. So I'm just like, boom! Uh, I think it succeeds the dick. It succeeds, <laughs> but... You the know, actual, I, th I, I mean, in hindsight, with the damage, the actual thunderous my aspect was more like a crackle. Yeah. Um, all right. You bring down yeah. the, the. I mean, the attack was strong. You bring down the mop sword. Uh, Hold on. Can I also add on my bonus action? Can I add on searing smite, or does that have to be before? Uh, <laughs> you can add on a divine smite if you want to, because that's oh, just yeah, when you I hit. Oh yeah, I have that too. Let's add on divine smite then. Okay. <laughs> Extra just radiant damage on everything. top of that. Yeah, yeah. Melee Almost damage, burned. thunderous smite, divine <laughs> smite. Yeah, I can do it, though. That's how it works. So it's extra radiant damage, then. Uh, 2d8 for first level, plus 1d8 for undead or Yeah, just, well, it's not just, an undead yeah just roll 2d8, then. All right, 2d8. Okay. Nine! Nine. Okay, right, so you are go. going to kill it with this. Just a boom, and then just the radiant light just 
completely does whatever yes. it does. The, do you it. have yeah. the small crackle, and then as it comes down, then this divine energy. You hear Pal your your phone rings. <laughs> a Palladian comes in. He goes, "Kill that bitch!" And <laughs> I'm working on it, but guy, I'm uh, and working you, on it. The Palladian's it. voice, the divine energy, runs through your mop sword and splits the thing in, into many different pieces, <laughs> and its little soul flies up into the air. All um, right, that's how I like it. <laughs> the shark, you're up. The shark. It I is know, you. I know, I got you. I'm considering here. So, how... Pumping, pumpkin I... person over there is one. He's one. He's one. <laughs> I just, I'm, He's okay, I'm trying to make an impact. All right, let me let me make an impact here. Okay, okay. I must show him first and foremost. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. How heavy did it feel when I, like, need him? Did his whole body shift? Or is it light as... Humanity. Um, he actually seems surprisingly sturdier than you would expect Straw and Pumpkin to be. Okay. Um, just like human. Is the one that's teeth all messed up still on the ground, or is he? Oh, he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, I didn't know I killed him. No, you didn't right, kill him. Uh, the bird did. Gotcha. Yeah, he, yeah you put the bat into him, oh, and the bird right. ripped his head off. There is one. Okay. There's one that's on fire, and then there's one that is yeah. not uh, currently. Yeah. I'm gonna go yeah, up to there's, the one there's one that's, that's like fire. untouched, and then the other one is the one that like Cody blasted in the face with fire, and I was munching on. Okay. Uh, then I'm gonna go. Did I say Cody? I mean Norman. Oh my God. <laughs> Cody's your yeah, own name. <laughs> Sorry, Cody shark. blasted it with fire. I don't know how he did it. Sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna run up to the untouched one uh, then. Yes. And I am no longer at advantage, so I'll go normal. Yep. And I am going to ram. Oh wait, I don't have my dagger in my hand. Oh yeah. No, I one, do. no one listens to my calls. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Uh, I'm just gonna go for the kneecap. I know there's no kneecap there, but I'll try. You hit him. Yeah. Yeah. Make right, a kneecap. <laughs> <laughs> what does it mean? <laughs> you um, as you swing the bat, time slows down. You quickly get out your tinkerer's tools and you like create little kneecaps for him, and then you blast them away with the bat. <laughs> uh, yeah, you hit him. Uh, it's still standing there, uh, but it, it looks a little bit broken, and he looks over to you with his glowing pumpkin eyes and goes, Why did you not just want to stay and party? Was something wrong with our hospitality? Um, can I, can I you can respond, yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. yes. Correct. Correct. Um. <laughs> One star. Um. <laughs> Literally the worst trip party advisor ever review. Ever <laughs> Anything else you want to do, the shark? Leave him for me. That's what I'm just gonna say to the Leave party. this one, this one. Okay, Cody. Yeah. There's one that's on fire. There's one that is being yeah. left for the shark. From, He's on the from ground, 20 feet in the air, you hear him. Uh, and then my bird swoops down <laughs> and um, attacks the, the injured pumpkin. All right. Man. You hit him. Yep. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> damage. 11 damage. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the bird is just gonna rip it to shreds. I just, nice. I like the idea of it just like fully dive bombing and just like going through <laughs> the pumpkin head. Oh yeah. Because it was I all love, like soft and mangled from the fire. I love that bird, Cody. You got to use that bird more often. That bird is putting in more effort than. As as the bird. <laughs> That's my response. <laughs> as the bird com comes up from the corpse of the pumpkin person, uh, you can see the bird's wings, a trail of f fire behind it, like a <laughs> phoenix. Um, the spirit of the pumpkin person flying around the bird as it flies up into the uh, into the air, um, and the American flag. Beautiful. You could see in the background fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> America, America! Uh, <laughs> um, everybody sheds a tear. Everybody um, sheds a tear. Everybody claps. Oh, Tony is crying. He's straight everybody up claps. like. He's 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 only taken one hit, hasn't he? This last pumpkin guy. Yeah, yeah. Just from just from the shark uh, breaking his uh, non-functioning kneecaps. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Yeah. Then in that case, I'm just going to try and claw him. Uh, I've got pack tactics, so I have yeah. my I have my um yeah claw him advantage. Right. Well, bite. Sorry, I'm gonna bite him. Bite him, better. You hit him. Twenty four. You, nine you, damage. You take a nice chunk out of him. Um, yeah, I'm I'm like jumping him, like trying to latch on. I'm like Argh. like you're even just on him, just like on his yeah. shoulder. Uh, he's still alive though. Um, the the scout <clears throat> yells over to the shark and goes, "What was that about keeping him alive?" I can shoot him! <laughs> no, it's, it's, you, you want, I'm not gonna deprive you of a kill, that's fine. I've never killed anything before. Then let Does me this do count? It. Does this count? 
I'm not you don't hear that. I'm a lion. <laughs> with about the philosophy, philosophy of what's misses, alive and what's I'm, not. You need to make this call. He fucking misses anyway. <laughs> just you need to work, on, on, uh, need to work on your aim a little bit there. I'm so. not supposed to actually hit things. I'm just a scout. Yeah, you're an eagle scout. I was one too. I, they, they fire things. That's what you got to learn archery, son. I, I, I can hit like buddies. Okay, Norman, you're up. <laughs> Norman. There's one pumpkin person left. The rest are either just in shambles on the ground or like dead. Uh, he's standing there. He's, I mean, Cody's taking a bites out of him. Uh, ah. The shark is taking out his legs. I, uh, I run around Cody and I say, shark, I'm gonna set you up for the kill. And I use one fireball attack. Okay, that's less setting him up for the kill. And, then just and more just killing him. Kill. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I see, oh, he has. I That's thought he fine, still had way more health. Nah. <laughs> no, he's taken so much damage. He just damage. took a giant yeah, bite out of that damage. Uh, six. Okay, never mind. No, he has seven HP, oh, so... Oh! So he's on right. one, so you do set him up. He's I one, he's William one. I told, I, I told you, my comms are on point. <laughs> I set you up. He's one, he's one. William, William Shakespeare, Shakespeare just walks in right now and just, like, yeah. sneezes on him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's William, William Shakespeare goes, Alas. Is it I who must claim this kill? Claim this life for for our people? Is it me? Am I finally the one who must I take him? <laughs> we just what? <laughs> just, <laughs> just trip him as he's running out. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, no. Uh, like William chaotic. Shakespeare I would... says, I must test. Are my words truly as painful as some of my worst viewers and critics say that they are? You, pumpkin boy, eat a dick! And then he's cast Vicious Mockery. Uh, and Wisdom pumpkin. saving throw. Wisdom saving throw for the pumpkin. Oh. oh. He critically oh. fails. Oh. The pumpkin boy looks up and goes, eat a dick! No! <laughs> I don't even have that! <laughs> Just... <laughs> Absolutely gets <laughs> obliterated into pieces, <laughs> like disintegrated in slow motion. Emotional damage. Oh my god. <laughs> Not the emotional damage. Uh, oh yeah, he's uh. dead. Oh man. <laughs> Will, man. Will, you just. I think you blew up a pumpkin by just yelling at it. That's that's impressive right there. I will put that into Hamlet 3. Well, haven't and you worked on Hamlet three. 2 yet? Oh, I, I finished the script for Hamlet 2 on the way here. Oh, that's now good. I'm working All on right. Hamlet. When I get back, if I do get back, that is, um, we're going to have... Always oh, getting to work, I guess. We're, there's going to be so many Hamlets. I'm working on a <laughs> Hamlet cinematic universe. <laughs> um, How do right, you know then. the word cinematic? I, I invented Are it. Are you really William Shakespeare? <laughs> this buys Dude. into my theory that you're not. No, I learned... I cinematic is one of the oh, words I don't that think I anyone here has said the I word made. cinematic. No, I made it. I don't think anyone here has said the word. I, I invent it, words yeah. all the time. That doesn't just include pre being isekai here. I invented yeah, the word isekai, no, by the way. Checks, your, <laughs> checks cinematic out. Then. Checks out. <laughs> checks out. It checks out. All right. All right. I mean, you could have invented the word isekai. I don't know. All where right. I first we're good to go. It. I'm gonna start uh, mopping up the pumpkin goo everywhere. Got to clean this uh, clean this party up a bit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like We're sit on my haunches and lick woods, my paw. You fucking weirdo. <laughs> that's, hey man, that's you know you gotta does. clean up. Hey man, you clean You're up after you have a party. The forest floor. You don't, Wait, okay. you don't leave Wait. just gunk and stuff all over the forest floor. Cody, oh, Cody sees, Cody sees, Cody sees Tony like, like sweeping up like the forest floor. Yep. He's just like, he gives him a big like lion thumbs up. There you go, man. I'm also gonna pocket some of the uh, the pumpkin seeds because we could actually grow pumpkins and have some pumpkin beer. At our ta our tavern at some point, pumpkin spice pumpkin ale. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what people are into For these Halloween. days. They, you're they, taking they, their cum and you're gonna put it in our beer. Who said it's the, cum? What? Why? Where did what you, you come to that seeds? conclusion? Oh, it's, it's their pumpkins. Seeds. They're just They're pumpkins. They're gonna grow pumpkin the rest people. The, so you're gonna just... grow and murder the pumpkin people and put their juice in I don't our think beer? the pumpkins were the things that were evil. I think it was those weird wispy things that went up to heaven after we killed them. If there is in I'm fact a heaven in this world. I'm sure we're gonna grow pumpkin people, but... Uh, Alright, well I guess we'll find out, but you know, they look like normal people. pumpkin seeds to me. The, the scout approaches the party and goes, Thank you guys so much. I can finally leave. I'll report this to, to Da Vinci. Is he? If we all turn to the scout now, it's like, you can't leave. <laughs> no, no, no! 
<laughs> no one leaves you, the swamp. You, you can't no leave, leave son. Uh, what? <laughs> we're just kidding. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're thank, just messing with you. We're just fucking with you. Go uh, ahead. I'll, I'll, I'll take a bet. If you got a message, I, I could take back to, to Leonardo. I roll. I, I, I would do that. The name's Cooper, by the way. Um, he puts out a nice hand to, meet to you. shake. Nice to meet you, Cooper. I uh, shake his hand. <laughs> Covered in probably pumpkin goo. I'm like, I shake his hand anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, thank you again. He runs off, still slightly scared. Um, um, so all right. should, we, should we go to that tree now? I wonder yeah, if there's any more, mm -hmm. any more adversaries. Did he more. point us in the right direction of where it is? As he's running away, he goes... Cooper, where's it at? Oh, it's... If you just keep going down that way, deeper into the swamp, there's a big... There's the big tree, and it's got like a... you. It, it's, it's the biggest tree in the swamp. It's hard to miss. All right. That's just vague enough to be specific. We'll find it. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Yeah, I mean the eagle's still out. So if it if it like scouts Flies. ahead a little yeah, bit. Yeah. Oh, we got the eagle. We're good. How long does that eagle stay out, Cody? Ew. Uh, hold on. It stays out for ever. No, I think it's just an hour. Let me look. Still, that's pretty. Up to good. an hour. The yeah. It's up to an hour. Oh wow! All right. Cool. Pumpkin come. All right. So <laughs> the, no. No. The eagle. <laughs> so I I also stay in beast form for an hour. Um, nice. Up to an hour. So you're so still. I'm, cool. I'm making the most of that. All right, you're still a lion. You're just strutting around like yeah. a lion. I have I have advantage on perception checks to rely on s smelling while I'm a lion, so I don't think that'll come up. But you know, yeah, just in case. Why not? <laughs> um, I mean, it's, yeah. As you venture deep into the swamp, uh, Cody, you smell. Um, no, you just smell. Uh, oh. <laughs> 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 you I got him. I fucking got him. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> We're two fifths animals right now. <laughs> we <Yep>. are. <laughs> we are. We sure are. That is a good ratio. Yeah. Um, if Little Feather was here, it would be half the party. <laughs> yep. William Shakespeare says, "They used to call me an animal back in the day, back in the 1500s." <laughs> yeah, I mean we've all had that phase, you know. You know why they call me Shakespeare? Why? You don't want to ask. No, I honestly don't. <laughs> he shakes don't, no. his spear at people, and the spear's his cock. <laughs> well, a... No, no, that isn't, isn't it that... at all. Where the hell did you get that from? I they call me Shakespeare because because that's my because they that's my name because they because <laughs> that's my name. <laughs> vulgar, absolutely vulgar. I'm not putting all that right. in Hamlet three. <laughs> Maybe in the deleted scenes. The After 18 show. What are you... All right. I, are you really William Shakespeare? Now I'm starting to think you're messing with us. I don't know what twisted view of William Shakespeare you have, but I'm I'm him. All right. Mm. Um, I'm well, going to go... Uh, I'm going to go take a pee in the forest, guys, real quick. I got to start remembering to do this before we fight. All right, Norman. Just, uh, you know... <laughs> Be careful. Oh, he's, uh, I really thought that was like really good role playing. I was like, oh, yeah. they're, they're managing like their body fluids as well. So like. <laughs> while while Norman is away taking a piss, a sexy snake lady wanders up to us oh, yeah, and yeah. just <laughs> asks, asks, asks for directions, and yeah. we just point her that way. Yeah, we're just like, good. oh yeah, you get yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah, just keep going. You'll yeah, you'll get out of here. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> what a great prank, guys. William Shakespeare says. <laughs> and oh, we should fucks. totally do that when he comes back. Um, yeah, yeah, we we will, we will, we will. Um, so is there is there anything on the way through the forest? Uh, Are we unimpeded? You as you get deeper into the uh, into the uh, into the swamp into the, swamp, the forest. I should say another forest. The, Wait, the yeah, forest take a photo of the snake lady to show him. Oh yeah. Well, there is no snake lady, but I, I'm not. There is. Of... Well, he's gone. It's the only one in existence. At least. It's the only. It's the only <laughs> one in existence. With it. You, like, does, you... wait, does it act? Does that actually happen? You, no, you create like. <laughs> William Shakespeare's like, oh, what if we just create something like the shadow of a, shake, a snake lady using all of these bits and pieces? And we take yeah, a photo of He's it. back, he's take... back. Oh, Norman, you oh, missed it. So there was a snake better. lady. There was a snake lady that walked by. She asked for directions. You just missed her. She's, we, she's gone we, now. We, we don't joke about that. This is, this is serious. <laughs> We're not joking. It's not a jest, my dear We're not boy. joking. It just happened. It just happened. Really? So we've really? got a, we've got they, a picture. Yeah. They, what, what direction did they go? Sh Fuck this mission. I'm not leaving this world. <laughs> show, show, show him the picture, old Tony. Uh, uh, sure. 
I, I use that like phone thing where you can like draw like a stick figure on the <laughs> app or whatever. <laughs> Here you go. That's not very nice, guys. <laughs> You've just been pranked. Cut. Uh, now you have to do a wisdom saving throw or, or take damage from my from my cutting words. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like where this is going. Yeah. Okay. All right. You guys are venturing deeper into the swamp until you eventually you reach. Um, the foot of this magnaf- magnificent, magnificent magnetic tree. <laughs> no, it's a magnificent. It's, I've invented a new word to describe this another... tree. Wow, uh, okay. it's so a, many words. It's a magnificent, huge tree uh, with its dark oak wood, um, lovely, beautiful leaves. Um, now that's a nice looking tree. I take a picture of the tree. Now that's a nice looking tree right there. Um, All right, but cool. it, I like in the center of the tree. There's like a carved out hole in the wood. And you mm. see, like this this glowing stone thing, or mm. similar to the one you saw on the um, um, mountains. All right, and Cody. It has um, the symbol of the leaf in it. If it, that looks like your symbol, um, what I did is just you know touch the you know whatever's glowing, and it usually you'll probably go into this weird space where you talk to a god. It's it's kind of trippy, but it's pretty cool. Okay, I I flash back into my human form. Oh, mm-hmm. uh, out of being a lion. So how? The you'd way you describe to climb it, it sound the, like the. It's okay, yeah, yeah. You have to it's climb up the then, side okay. of it. Okay, then I, I will begin. I begin my as my you climb. touch the tree. Suddenly, you feel a rumbling, oh. and then you hear a deep voice. Who just touched me? And then the tree starts to move, and these branchy oh. arms. Can I? Start am am I still up. clinging you, on? You, you still have a hand on it, like. Okay, are, we okay. see, are we all seeing um, this and hearing this? Yeah, everyone is hearing this and seeing this. All right, this you is see, a little different from you, the last one. You see this yeah. huge face kind of come, like, emerge in the tree, these glowing green eyes as it looks down. How dare you enter here? It moans um, in a menacing way. Um, <laughs> where is this face from where I'm clinging on to? Oh, very high up. Okay. okay so, yeah. Can it see me? Uh, well, it's I looking down. Can feel me. He, he can feel you. He can see the party for sure, uh, as okay. they're standing behind you. I guess and... I'm like I'm like waving my like pendant. I'm like, bro, I I I, I got the thingy, the, the symbol. Who cares? And he <laughs> and he swings. I, oh I, shit! I want you guys to roll initiative against the tree. What oh the fuck? My goodness. Uh... <laughs> guys, time for a boss battle. Um, yeah, I'll bring you over to the tree. Well, kind of wish I didn't use all my spells against the pumpkin. Tree, but, you know, hindsight's twenty twenty. You know hindsight. what I mean? Uh-huh. I mean, uh-huh. fucking. They don't teach you magic spells. The shark was on it. School, the shark you know? was prepared. See, Cody's really torn up right now because he doesn't because... like hurting nature. <laughs> it's like to him, it's like there's a living tree here. Is this just like the guardian of the forest? Like, yeah. am I the am I the bad guy? Should we be killing this thing right now? Uh, if there's any way to talk it, look at it down. Face. It looks pretty. It looks pretty bad. I don't know about that, man. Okay. Um, I just want to say that a fire would have been very, 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 very. <laughs> I but that's not there. Yeah. There. Uh, We're not doing a fire, okay? I'm, sh- I'm sorry, Cody, but I'm gonna set this free to this tree on fl- the flames. I mean, I didn't know there was gonna be a giant tree. I, I might actually attempt to light it on fire as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, how big is this tree again? Um, I'm still clinging onto the tree. Humongous. <laughs> I don't know the exact thing in feet, but it's it's very very big. <laughs> it's big. It's huge. It's big. gargantuan. It's gargantuan. It's, uh... It doesn't have any weapons in his hand, does it? No. <laughs> <laughs> it has a tree. gun. It has a tree gun. <laughs> it... <laughs> the tree's packing. Oh God. All right, I'm gonna do my two weapon fighting. When you engage into fighting, add your ability modifier to damage. Oh, you have two weapon fighting? Yeah. Oh, sick. I didn't know you had that. I guess you do. You put it in there for me. (laughs) 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 Sweet. So you you have to be using two light weapons for that. So. Yeah, um, Um, I have two knives, so I'll use both my knives. Yeah, double dagger. Okay. Just hit Dagger. dagger twice. Dagger. Both of them miss. Ooh. I missed stabbing a well, tree. It, it, when, when, it, they just don't the penetrate its tree armor. Yeah. yeah. It's dead. 
You you run up with your knives and try and like dig them into the tree, but they just don't go into his hard wooden body. Um, wait, wait, Rustage, I need you to say hard wooden again. Again? Back. I, oh. Okay. <laughs> they just don't penetrate his hard wooden body. Is that does that was that good enough for you? Was that good enough for everyone? Everyone out there listening right now, was that good enough? Did you enjoy that? Did you have a great time? Did you have an amazing time? Okay. Um, but yeah, and the tree looks down and goes, "Purely human." Norman, you're up. Unless the shark wants to do anything else. Uh, All right. Spit on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we gotta we gotta work together for this boss battle. And I run up to Cody and I touch him on the back and give him mage armor. You've got. I think, I, I, think I put I put that one into the. Yeah, I did. Okay. Um, Cody is wearing leather armor, so actually you can't give him mage armor. He's a lion. No, no, he unlioned. Oh, I thought so, he had an hour of lion. No, but, but he, no, no, I, I did. Right? I un he he unlioned because he wanted to climb the tree. Oh, he thought he apologies. thought it was a peaceful moment for everyone, so he unlioned. Yeah. But, so, but can you get can you get back online? On <laughs> 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 you can do the thing well, where you prepare the mage armor for when he goes lion again, if he can. I I, I can, but Cody, are 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 you gonna turn into an animal if I give you mage armor? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. So, so yeah, we, you just wait. You just hold it off, fight. and it will it will activate. I start, when it goes I start casting a spell right behind Cody, but it's not ready yet. <laughs> you feel it kind of going around you, Cody. It is now your turn. I I I want to turn into a monkey. All right. Okay. Ho okay. Because the, in my mind. Yes. This is not a. This is not an enemy to be defeated. You know All what right, I mean? All right, monkey. It's guarding something, and as soon as we get there, it's it's it's. Oh, there is no. Stop. There is no sheep for a monkey. I'm gonna have to put this in manually. Wait, what about ape? Oh, ape. More likely, ape does exist. Ape is um, uh, challenge rating and a half, so you can do ape. Oh, that's. Is that too high? Piss. No, it's it's it's. Just. I shit. can change it with challenge rating one. Right. Um. Well, you could do so ape. I was hoping something better. There's nothing really that has. It's gonna have like a good climbing speed. That's. You're, you're not trying to fight it, are you? You're just trying to ape. But in case this doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, ape has a cl good climbing speed of 30 feet. That just lets you get in there. All right, then I'm I'm gonna all right I'm gonna change into an ape. And what you see is I'm still wearing my spandex, but my armor disappears, and I still have my pendant on. Yeah. But as you um, change into the ape, I cast my spell and like it's like you just see like a glow around you for a second and then it disappears. Uh -huh. But the yes. glow's in the shape of an armor. Time to ape shift. Oh sweet, sweet, sweet. What so is the what is mage armor? It's thirteen plus dex. Yeah. Yeah. So you've turned into Okay, sweet. So it's fifteen. You you you've got the, you're like an armored ape. This ape looks crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's, he's got his spandex on, crazy glowing ape. magical armor, and this big dangling All right. pendant. All right. You're going to climb, climb, climb up. Quick thing on my turn, was I able to like disengage as well? Yeah, you could run away Yeah, if you wanted to, sorry. I also wanted to run away. Yeah. Like, uh, can I get to the, the, the hole. glowing thing? 30, yes, yeah. you have a 30 feet climbing speed, so you All can right, get sweet. it right in that hole. I'm, I'm just scaling, and I just want to immediately boom, you, you plug my... Boom. And then the world goes still for everyone else. And uh, you see, um, you see a cloaked man from behind, um, and you're sort of in this white void with this cloaked man from Am behind. Am I still a monkey in this void? You are still a monkey. No, you're not a monkey. This is like inside your head. <laughs> so you're, you're, okay, you're okay. you are Cody. Um, I'm like looking around. I'm like, yo. And you hear like grunting. Like, ah, ah, ah. You are. Uh, you good? Ah. What? And he, this man turns around, you see he's like lifting like an individual weight. Um, and he looks around, he's like, he's in like green spandex and he's like super buff. And he, <laughs> he he's got this, bro. Like, he's got this huge green mustache as well. Um, bro, were you hitting a set? Yeah, I was just doing my lifts, bro. <laughs> Yo, the name's Drew. <laughs> yeah. I wonder what that's short for. <laughs> Bro, all right. Cody's just gonna walk over and just, just bro hug. Yo, yeah, yeah. man. Boom, boom. Uh, yo, man. Bro. You just activated my holy site. Does that mean I can come back to life? Well, I mean, I kind of. I 
I'm not really sure. Hey, man, I've been laying door in here for years. All I've been doing is hitting those reps, but now I'm jacked. <laughs> Uh, he's like spitting yeah, whilst he's talking as well. Yeah. <laughs> he's like roided out. Urgh, you can see like when he flexes his muscles, it's like real. <laughs> yeah, like daddy fat snaps like. Urgh. Flexing <laughs> flexing his peaks. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. Yo, yeah, man. It's like such an honor to meet you. I guess you're like my god or whatever. What's your name, boy? Cody. Cody, Coaster. that's a strong name. Coaster, nicknames. Yeah, you can call me Drew, or you can call me the Drew Dog. Oh, oh. <laughs> Drew Dog. Oh, oh. I wanted yeah. that money. It was gonna be Arnold Schwarzenegger, <laughs> and I'm severely disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> these are real people. <laughs> these are just these yeah, are the gods of the right, universe. Yeah, of course. Yeah. These are the uh, isekai people. They're just the gods. Um. Um, oh, no. So we can still run into Arnold Schwarzenegger. Are you That's great. Arnold Schwarzenegger is not a god. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, he's yeah, part of the bro, Austrian I guess there's pantheon. Like, there's, there's like a, a tree attacking like my guys out there. Yo, bro, that ain't cool. That's not the vibe. Like, is that anything to do with you or? No, I, I've just been repping here. But you know what? Um, take this. He hands you a protein shake. If you ever need my power, just drink that. <laughs> Is it just like a limitless protein? It's just a limitless protein. <laughs> it's, uh, I remember to use code Briggs. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's written on the side of the protein shake. Just yeah. code Briggs. Um, Let's fucking go. All right. Is there anything like else I need to do here? Uh, like, you got any like info for me or? I'm not really a thinking type. If you ever want to talk to me, just drink that. Word. Oh. All right, I guess I got to go deal with a tree. Ah, uh, have fun. <laughs> <laughs> have fun, bro. And remember, remember this. Don't forget leg day. And then <laughs> time resumes. Thanks, bro. <laughs> <laughs> time resumes, and now the the there's like a beacon uh, of light that shines out of that hole and flies into the sky. Um, and you are now holding in your hand a protein shake. Okay. Um, I just want to like have like do like a testing sip of the druid fluid. You, you druid take a, fluid. a tested sip of the druid fluid, which is a very good name for it. And you feel you feel yourself getting like a little bit stronger and a, a little bit bigger. Um, do you want to do you want to drink it? I, I yeah yeah. You down that druid. I just want to point out that's I did not come up with druid fluid, by the way. That was someone in chat called you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you drown you chug that druid fluid, and then you turn into a giant ape. Um <laughs> Alright. <laughs> you almost like rip a hole in this tree as you like burst out of him like alien. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, um and at that moment, everyone sees the giant ape, the giant tree. It's like a gaiju, gaiju, kaiju battle. Kaiju, kaiju battle. And at that moment, I will do a to be continued here. Uh, Incredible. Oh. In that dramatic. Because I sure, pretty sure Cody just turned into King Kong. All right. <laughs> oh, this is exceptional. <laughs>